Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, introduction of the gastrointestinal physiology or gastrointestinal tract. Uh, the organs of digestion are the mouth, uh, in a simple stomach animal, you will find the esophagus, uh, then the stomach, simple stomach, and then the small intestine having a dirina, dirina, and then ileum. Uh, the large intestine is consists of a cecum, uh, colon, and then the rectum, and lastly, the last portion of uh, the uh, digestive system is anus. So you can see that the digestive tract of your heart having a mouth, esophagus, stomach. Uh, in a small intestine, there is a duodenum, jejunum, ileum. And in a large intestine, uh, there is a cecum, colon, and the rectum. Uh, then the last lady in us. Uh, the cecum is the largest portion of the large intestine because uh, the heart is a caudal fermentator and um, they uh, eat uh, and then digest most of the ingredients into the cecum. So the mouth, uh, tongue, the superior system of duodenum, jejunum, ileum, then the cecum in a large intestine and as well as the colon, rectum, and the anus, uh, gallbladder, uh, the liver, the uh, uh, spleen, uh, all these are, and the kidneys are present in the horse inside the abdominal cavity. The digestive system of the compound stomach, stomach animal depends on the mouth, esophagus, then the compound stomach uh, animal having the Four compartment in the stomach. Uh, they are consisting of a rimen, reticulum, pomesum, and abomesum. The the fourth part is in a simple stomach animal. The small intestine is consists of a duodenum, jejunum, ileum, and the large intestine is consist of a cecum, colon, rectum, and lastly the last portion is anus. So the, the difference between the simple stomach animal and the compound stomach animal is that the ruminants are possessing a four compartment stomach, whereas the simple stomach animals are consisting of a single single compartment stomach, which is the abomasum. So the ruminant is consist containing the mouth, esophagus, then the uh, rimen reticulum, uh, then the omesum, and lastly the abomasum, which is connected with the uh, duodenum, duodenum, ileum, in a small intestine, and the large intestine is consists of a cecum, colon, and the rectum. Uh, there is a pancreas uh, with and liver, gallbladder. They are accessory glands, which uh, helps the ruminants to digest the food. The pseudo ruminant, like a uh, Omesum is missing in a camels, and uh, the teeth mechanically reduce the size of ingested food into the symbolic particles by grinding, increase the surface area for a chemical and a microbiological degradation. So there are uh, four types of the teeth in the uh, animals. One is the incisors, also called uh, nippers. The canines, which is also called uh, fangs, are uh, eye teeth, are uh, tusks. Whereas the premolars and the molar, the cheek teeth are present in all the animals. In ruminants, the incisors and the canines of the maxilla are replaced by the dental plate. So if you see that the teeth of the cattle having the, the teeth in the lower jaw, but uh, the dental plate in the upper jaw is present, but there is no teeth over there. The uh, Teeth of a cattle and the teeth of a dog, if you compare that the dog is uh, containing a full mouth, having a, all type of the teeth in the mouth, whereas the horse is also possesses the full mouth. And uh, if you see that the carnivores pointed teeth that lacks the flat grinding, whereas surface less chewing and less time take place in the 
carnivorous animals, whereas the herbivores having a large platelets suited for grinding and the cellular cell walls of a plant tissue is high chewing. Uh, the humans have a carnivores like teeth in the front and a herbivores like teeth in the back. So if you see that the incisors, canines, premolars and molars are present in the dogs and as well as in the uh, other animals. And if you see the tongue and the upper jaw is uh, in the cattle is lacking the teeth. A man and a monkey is possessing the uh, two upper uh, incisors and uh, two lower incisors, whereas uh, the man and monkey having a canine, one upper and a one lower, whereas the premolar is a two upper and a two lower, whereas the molar teeth are three upper and a three lower. So it is two, one, two, three ratio and uh, multiplied by a two, it may be uh, the total of the teeth. The man and a monkey is same that is the 32 uh, teeth in a man and a monkey. Whereas the rabbits having a two teeth upper and uh, the one teeth in a lower jaw and uh, the canines are absent and uh, the premolars in the upper jaw there are three and the, in the lower jaw there are two and the molar teeth are three, upper and three lower. So it is containing two, zero, three, three and one, zero, two, three. So multiplied by two, it is consists only a total eight teeth. So the, like a cow and a goat and a sheep, they have a 32 teeth. The dog is a 42 teeth. The rat and mouse have a 16 teeth and the elephant has a 26 teeth and kangaroo have a 34 teeth. So the tongue, the long rough and a mobile uh, drawn between the incisors and the dental paid in the herbivores between the upper and the lower jaw in other animals. Inside the mouth, the tongue mixes food with the saliva and maxillary organ. The role of a salivary glands and a saliva, parotid, medibular, sublingual, zygomatic, exocrine, secrete the serious mucus and a mixed secretion, facilitate mastication and deglutition. Whereas, the role of salivary gland and saliva contains a salivary amylase, an enzyme that breaks the, down the starch, alkaline in nature, and reduce the pH in the stomach. The volume of the saliva varies, but greatest in the herbivores, and a cow of 25 to 50 gallons, whereas uh, it may be uh, the 100 to 200 liters per day. Additional function of the saliva is the neutralization of a large amount of acids that are produced as a result of fermentation. To meet the buffering demand, the remnant saliva contains a bicarbonate and a phosphate buffers and particular for a bacterial growth. Uh, the role of a salivary gland and a saliva, uh, the salivation is controlled by the nervous system and uh, salivation can be produced by a testing, smelling and even thinking or a talking about the food stimulates the, uh, the increased salivation, uh, whereas the esophagus, the extending tube from a pharynx to the stomach crosses the thorax and perforate the diaphragm, uh, active, actively moves the bolus uh, through the peristaltic movements and swallowing center in the brain stimulate the successive one directional waves of a contraction and sphincters open to all, allow the food to enter into the stomach and human leg a true sphincter here. Whereas this food may have to move from a pharynx to the, uh, through a esophagus into the stomach. Uh, whereas in the mouth, uh, it, uh, the person may have to chew it and then uh, it may have to, after a mastication and swelling, move the bolus into the stomach and where the stomach has to move this food uh, towards the uh, so at the intestine like the duodenum where it has to digest and then the nutrients has to absorb and then the defecation may have to take place when the animal is uh, moving the food from the small intestine to a large intestine and then finally when it reaches to the rectum and the anus it has to be defecated, which is known as a 
digestion. So gastrointestinal tract in a multi-layered uh, that con consists of a mucosa innermost layer, the epithelium that lines the interior or a lumen of the tract, whereas the second layer is submucosa, and then uh, it is consists of a connective tissue. The muscular layer is a circular and longitudinal smooth muscle layers, and the last layer, which is the outermost layer, that is a serosa, which is a epithelial covering and external surface of the tract. So the caudal part of the esophagus is composed of the smooth muscles, whereas uh, the that the esophagus is consist of a lemon, mucosa, submucosa, glands in the submucosa, submucosa glaxis, and muscular circular layer and longitudinal layer. The serosa is a consist of a epithelial tissue layers. And there is also the nerve supply and even the mesentery plexus present in the esophagus where the food has to be uh, moved by a, a reflexes. The stomach, which is a sac like portion of a tract and convoluted surface, allows the expansion, uh, contains a third layer of the smooth muscles by for mixing food with the gastric juice. Uh, Three kinds of secretory uh, cells are present in the uh, stomach. One is the mucus, which is secreting cells, whereas the parietal cells, uh, they secretes the hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factors that has to produce the, or uh, absorb the vitamin D12. Uh, whereas the chief cells, which has to secrete the pepsinogen, uh, which is inactive part uh, form, and then it is converted into a pepsin, which is the active form of a pepsin. The stomach is consist of uh, the uh, uh, the area uh, uh, like uh, outer surface, which is known as the uh, serosa. Then the muscular that has consisting of a three layers. One is the longitudinal layer, the circular layer, and oblique layer. Whereas the uh, mucosa is uh, the inner layer and the submucosa is the uh, second layer. So the pyloric uh, area is cons uh, having the pyloric spectra and the fundus area having the esophageal attachment. So the duodenum is attached with uh, uh, the pyloric spectra and then the stomach is consist of uh, the gastric pits, the mucosa, the submucosa, oblique circular longitudinal muscles and serosa. The, uh, the gastric pit is consist of a mucous cells, chief cells, parietal cells, and gastric glands. Whereas the monogastric animal, simple stomach animals are consist of the mouth, esophagus, then the stomach, simple stomach, the duodenum, duodenum, ileum, and the large intestine is consist of a cecum, colon, and the rectum. The simple stomach animal having a low pH in the stomach helps uh, denature the food protein and activate the pepsin, pepsin uh, and keeps it functional. Whereas no significant digestion of a carbohydrate or fat sucker in the stomach, the absorption of some water, aspirin and alcohol may have to take place in the stomach. Mixture of a partially digested food or gastric juices is called a chyme. Whereas the uh, peptic ulcer commonly uh, caused by a bacteria, the uh, leaves of the stomach through the pyloric sphincter to enter the small intestine. And the gastric glands, uh, there are three types of gastric glands. One is the cardiac gland, which is producing mucus, the fundus gland, which is producing hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen, the pyloric gland, which is producing a mucus, and the gastric. The gastric acid secretion is stimulated by acetylcholine and parasympathetic uh, gastrin and histamine and amino acid driver is present in the most of the body tissues. The normal pH 3.5 to a 5, whereas uh, below a uh, 2, the pH may have to inhibit the gastric secretion. So the small intestine is consist of a duodenum, duodenum and ileum, which receives the chyme from the stomach and the digestive enzymes and carbo bicarbonate from the pancreas and the bile from, uh, 
from a liver and a gallbladder. They have to most digestion and absorption occurs in the intestine, except those animals which may have prolonged fermentation process, like a caudal uh, fermentators. So the epithelial wall is covered with a villi. The villi are covered by a microvilli. So greatly increase the surface area and microvilli participate in the digestion and absorption. So the brush border enzymes, uh, many adults lacks the enzymes lactase and therefore they have a intolerance of a, a lactose. So you can see that uh, the uh, the intestine is a consist of a, uh, the uh, mucous membrane, then the uh, submucosa and muscularis and the serosa. The uh, mucous membrane having a finger-like structure, uh, which is uh, papillae and having a villi and the microvilli on it. and uh, uh, histologically, if it is observed, then you have to see that the uh, pancreas and the gallbladder and uh, the liver, uh, they are uh, uh, supplying the uh, bile juices uh, and as well as the pancreatic juices through a common bile duct, which is uh, connected with the, uh, the common bile duct uh, by hepatic duct and uh, even the bile duct and the pancreatic duct into a common bile duct, which is uh, interest in the duodenum, where it is supplying the pancreatic juices, where as well as the bile juices from the gallbladder and uh, the hepatic juices from the liver. So the pancreas are uh, having uh, the beta cells and alpha cells, which are producing the insulin and glucagon. The digestive system, the accessory organs, the liver the that produces the bile the greenish yellow solution of the bile salts blue rubin the cholesterol the lact lactatin and the electrolytes are continuously synthesized by the hepatic cells of the liver the gallbladder that uh, stores and the uh, concentrates the bile and concentration is low in the ruminants because they are they eat frequently Absent in the horses, so the bile is directly entered in the duodenum. Whereas the pancreas, they produce the pancreatic juices, the digestive enzymes, and the bicarbonate buffers enters into the duodenum from the pancreatic uh, pancreatic uh, uh, duct into the common bile duct, which is attached to the duodenum, and it is supplied the pancreas pancreatic juices to the duodenum which helps in the digestion. So accessory organs like pancreas, that pancreatic fluid is secreted into the duodenum through the pancreatic duct. The enzymes, uh, they are consisting of a uh, trypsin and a chymotrypsin. That protein uh, into a similar polypeptides is converted by the presence of the enzymes like a trypsin and a chymotrypsin. Whereas a pancreatic amylase, that's a polysaccharides are uh, converted into a shorter sugars. So there, the lipase, which uh, is a, also uh, convert the fat into a free fatty acids and a mono uh, glycerides. So the bicarbonates neutralizes the acidic kind and the exocrine and endocrine glands, uh, they are supplying the enzymes to the body. So the pancreas is not mixogrine gland. So it is also known as the exocrine and as well as the endocrine gland in the body of the animals. The large intestine like a colon that is a much shorter, small intestine, but it has a larger diameter. The small intestine empties directly into the large intestine at the junction. There are two uh, vestigial structures like a cecum and a appendix remain. Uh, no, no digestion occurs whereas the functions to reabsorb the water and remaining electrolytes and vitamin K. Uh, so it prepares the waste for expulsion too, and this is the part of the ascending portion of a large intestine, and the uh, ileocecal wall that's uh, having a large portion of the small intestine, the cecum, and the appendix. So it is showing uh, the uh, large intestine, the many bacteria live in and reproduce within the large intestine. 
so feces is compacted passed to the rectum and the feces exists uh, that is the ejection which is known as the defecation which takes place from the anus so the smooth muscle inspector is an involuntarily inspector and the stated muscle inspector is a voluntarily inspector in the anus which allows the uh, absorption of the there is a four types of the digestive systems uh, so if you see that uh, the simple stomach animal uh, the caudal and the cranial and as well as the ruminants uh, the ruminants they are having a digestive system the uh, uh, specialized digestive system capable of a digestive uh, cellulose has a stomach with a four distinct compartment like the cattle sheep goat and the deer and elk. So ruminants have a four chambered stomach, rumen, reticulum, omasum, true stomach like uh, abomasum. Uh, the rumen has a cellulose degrading microbes. Contents can be regurgitated and retrieved. Rumination evolved only once. So the compartment capacity in the ruminant, that the honeycomb like a structure having a 5% of the capacity where the rumen is a pouch-like structure having 80% of the capacity, omasum having a many plies like a 7% of the capacity, and abomasum is a true stomach which has a 8% of the capacity in the ruminant. So first three are also called a poor stomach animal. So the abomasum, reticulum, rumen, and abomasum, they are the site of a chemical for the digestion in the pyloric digestive system where the reticulum, the hardware stomach holding an area for the foreign materials in the polygastric system. The rumen is the large uh, compartment of the polygastric system, serves as a storage area where the muscular portion of the polygastric system they squeezes the uh, excess water from the digestive food products. So accessory organs like the liver that is chemically modifies the substance absorbed from the digestive tract before they are reached the rest of the body. So ingesta, uh, ingested alcohol and uh, other drugs are taken into a liver cells and metabolized. Uh, that removes the toxins, pesticides, carcinogenic, converting them into a less toxic form, regulates the level, levels of the steroid hormone, produce the most uh, important action that is to detoxify. The material. Thank you very much. So you have to share this uh, lecture with the other friends and as well as take the notes and compare their own with your uh, the hard copies so that you have to modify your uh, result the uh, notes with these uh, lectures. Thank you very much. Uh, subscribe this channel so that you have to uh, give a benefit to other students as well. Thank you.